Now to the weather. We dealt with gloomy, rainy conditions most of this Sunday, but that cold weather, Derek, is now on its way, right? As correct, uh, Kelsey. That's really what we're focusing on, particularly for Tuesday. That's when the Arctic cold front is going to be arriving in our area. So even though it's cold now, it's going to be a lot colder here, especially by Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday night, where we can see wind chills dropping into the teens across parts of the area. The coldest weather we've seen in a little while here across the area. Let's get right to it and shoot what we're tracking here for tonight. We're finally starting to dry out across the area after an afternoon of soaking rain, particularly along and east of I-95. Uh, sunny skies that return for your Monday. So when you wake up in the morning, there will be bright sunshine. It will be deceptive, though, because it's going to be very chilly to start things off in the morning, upper 30s to around 40 degrees. And then we'll see sunny skies during the afternoon, upper 40s to around 50 for tomorrow afternoon's highs. And then it's Tuesday that the winds pick up. High temperatures for many locations will not get out of the 30s on Tuesday. And then we're going to see those wind chills, perhaps Perhaps into the teens and 20s, particularly as you go into later Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning of this week. We're still tracking a few showers out there right now. This is the last bit of the rain as the main area of low pressure has moved well off towards the north and east. It's kind of some moisture that is streaming in on the back side of that area of low pressure right now. But you can see the temperatures have started to drop off. Skies are beginning to clear out here from west to east as the low moves away. Temps now down to 37 for Frederick, 43 here in Baltimore, and low to mid 50, low to mid 40s, I should say, over on the eastern shore. And it looks like as we go through the day tomorrow, as I mentioned, more sunshine. You can see the breaks in the clouds right here. There is still going to be a chance for some precipitation out in the mountains, though. We're looking at the possibility when some colder air starts moving in, of some accumulating snow out across parts of far western Maryland out in the mountains there, dealing with a trough of low pressures that swings in from the west. But this is the core of the coldest air that we're watching through the northern plains and up into uh, sections of southern Canada here. And this is what we're expecting to drop down into our area here on Tuesday on those northwesterly winds with this dip in the jet stream. Notice by the time we head towards tomorrow and into Tuesday, that's that's what we we're expecting. Again, those temperatures to be uh, down into the 30s for highs, and the wind's going to make it feel even worse. Now, as far as winds tomorrow, gusts over 20, not out of the question. It's really not going to be until Tuesday afternoon that we expect those winds to really ramp up across our area into the high 20s and low 30s here, as far as the winds are concerned. And then notice the wind chills by Tuesday morning, dropping into the low to mid 20s. And then by the time we head towards Wednesday morning, we're looking at uh, wind chill temperatures into the mid teens. So you get the idea. But a big warm up expected for the rest of the week. Once we get through the next couple of days, we're going to finally start to warm things up. But by the time we head towards the end of the week, we're looking at mid 50s for highs as we head towards, it uh, looks like, uh, the weekend as well. Here's your first alert seven day forecast 50 tomorrow, 38 on Tuesday, down to 24 for Wednesday morning, and then warming back up to the 50s by the end of the week. We'll be back.